Oh, and she do be making a mess. What are you doing, Colette? That's terrible. It's nice to have kids around in the house. Look at this cleaning up for us. He is like, I got sprayed by a skunk and oh, I got the aches and pains. Here you go, my queen. I give you a beautiful gift, a necklace I have made just for you. He's like, the jewelry, the necklace you made for my wife was beautiful. And she's like, well, thank you. Hello, all you fabulous and wonderful people. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back for some more of the Ultimate Decades Challenge. So, before we get started, you might have noticed that something's looking a little bit different with our family's house. So, I went ahead and I spent probably half of our money, maybe a little bit more, on building over this house. So, we had originally just under 70,000. I think it was like 66,000 and change or something like that. So we are down to 29,000 simoleons. I tried to put so much stuff into this house, y'all, but let me show you around the farm. So I've added in a lot of plants, a lot of greenery, a lot of, a lot of greenery. There's a lot of cheap trees on this property now but I did add on to the house you might notice that the stable is all gone I've actually turned it into Sarah's hopefully lucrative business of jewelry making so I've gone ahead and I've installed a mod that will allow her to have a live-in store. All it is, is you have to have a lot trait, not even a lot trait, it's a challenge. So you have to have one of these. So you can either have a cafe, maybe some of you have already used this mod or seen this mod, but you have, you can have a bar, you can have a club, you can have a daycare, a gym, a pet store, or just a regular store. So she's gonna be selling jewelry, so I've just made it as a regular store. So that's how it gets to work. And then you just put in a door and you can open your live-in store. You can mark things up. I do have it marked up to 100%. Hopefully she can be making some jewelry and selling it. Now this is also a mod, it remakes the cash register into this so it looks a little bit more period I don't know that we need this it's more just for aesthetic reasons I believe I don't actually think it works but we do have a sales table so I'm not quite sure how we use this but I if we can't just sell things off of this display right here I maybe can put things into here and we could just 10 table I don't know this is an all new experience. I have not used this mod, but I'm hoping that she can make some jewelry and she can sell it here. But this is her little jewelry shop. I've just put some of the tools that came with the Crystal Creations pack and I put it all over. And of course, we do not have a mod that would like change the look of the gem table or crystal table, whatever you call this. We're just going to have to make do with it. I mean, they wouldn't have these modern things, but maybe one day a nice, modder would like remake this into more older looking but it's not too bad i just put up some bookshelves and this i'm hoping to put like maybe some of her creations into here for display or some crystals that she finds uh, we can put in here right now i just have what come with the mining in the medieval activities i believe for blacksmithing is there just a few but this is just how it's looking we got our little chest maybe she keeps her precious gems in there and uh maybe this is where she's going to be smelting all of the metals and stuff is in this little fireplace i also went ahead and changed her aspiration to the crystal crafter i thought this would be fun to try out with her so she has to buy the gemology table. That's what this is called, I guess. <laughs> so we did. And then she has to collect some crystals and metals and we have to gift jewelry or su successfully propose with a crafted ring. So we'll be gifting it. I thought whatever we make, we could maybe gift to the king and queen. So that's what I'm planning on doing there. I just think this is gonna be really fun to do with her. And maybe Andrew can help her out in her endeavors, but that's her little shop. I did add 
in a few more tapestries and a little bit more decor. I added in a laundry basket in the kids' room. I added in a few more pieces in here for the kitchen. I added just some decorative stuff. I also changed the pantry. It was bothering me how it looked. So this is pretty much the same pantry. It just gave you empty slats and you could put your own stuff in. So that's what I've done. I put some shelves up. I like it a lot better than what it looked before. It definitely looks much more like a pantry. Since we have all these children, I have gone ahead and added more seating and a bigger table here. So it's how it's looking. And just put up some more decor around the place. I think it looks quite cozy and quite lived in. I like it. I do like it a lot. So, and just some bags and their trash, of course. Then I just put this little like kind of seating area they can sit. I put the mailbox and the forest for the cookbook here, the sign that goes there. And then I put their garden that was right in this area. I have moved it over to here. We'll come in here so you can see it better. We had two patches for the overgrown vegetables and stuff. I put another one. I did put in a couple more raised beds. I added in over here a bee thing. I don't know that we'll do it, but the idea is nice to have it there. And it is well, of course. I think it looks really, really nice. I'm happy with it. I went a bit crazy with the greenery, all right? I feel like they'd have a bunch of stuff by now. I also did expand the animals, y'all. We are going to hire a farmhand, so we'll have help with the animals, but... I have bought a llama, and then we have our goat for milk, but then I also got a sheep. So we'll get white wool from there, and we will get some beige wool from this one. I'm hoping that one of the girls, maybe Colette for a little while, can do some sewing, and maybe Catherine, if she makes it, will do some sewing. I don't think Sarah will get time to do sewing. She's gonna be busy doing her jewelry thing, but I just like the idea of having more animals, and it looks better. It filled this in. This is a big property, y'all. And then I put the chickens over here and I did add in another coop. Now, I think we have some more eggs to incubate. Yes, these are hatchable. I'm gonna give these to David and David can come in here and he can incubate these in the coop. And he's playing chess right now. I did add in a chess table right here. So maybe they can work on that. And then upstairs, I did add in a few more pieces. I almost forgot that I did. I I did so much to this house, I forgot. So I did put in like a closet for them and I did add in this brush. This is a mod that lets them clean or brush their hair. It actually helps their hygiene. So I thought that would be uh, nice. They would definitely be brushing their hair in this time. So I had that for Sarah and maybe like the girls can come up and do theirs. I didn't add anything new with the toddlers. Oh, I did find some new toys that these toddlers could play with, I think. Okay, that's right. These were broken. They, they're they supposed to work. If you go into Build and Buy, these toys do have, it supports children and it supports toddlers, but they don't work. So it's just more for aesthetic purposes, like toys, you know, but they don't work. Just like this doesn't work anymore, which is super sad, but you know, that's how it is. Everything looks so lived in. It looks cozy. There's a lot of trees, y'all, a lot of trees. You can't even see the pond now. It's right here with the ducks. I also did go ahead and put up a second clothesline because our family got huge. So we're gonna definitely need two clothesline here. And then I moved because I was afraid it would com conflict with everything else. I moved their wine thing here. I do want Andrew to make wine and stuff. I think he might like it. And then, of course, our art tree and stuff is here. They're going to just get their needs up. Like, Andrew needs to go to the bathroom and get something to eat. So I'll have him do that. Sarah is very happy, apparently. She's got all the friends, and she likes that. Colette is doing really, really well. She is going to be aging up in four years. Days. I think the kids are doing all really, really well. So we are currently in the first quarter of 1375. So it is Saturday and we are halfway through the summer. Now I do believe she has already harvested all of these berries at some point. So I don't think I'm going to have her do any more of that. I'm not going to plant anymore because we can only do blueberries 
and blackberries. I'm gonna wait until the fall and we can do a lot more, I think carrots or something. I, I don't remember offhand, but I think we can do a lot more. But for Sarah, I am gonna have her go use her chamber pot up here. We can come up here and use that. And I'm gonna have her get started on this crystal crafter and see what she can make. So we have to find five crystals and or metals. So I also did install a mod that makes it so there is no collectibles like the dolls. So in order to find those, you have to have a treasure map. So the only thing we should be finding is crystals or metals. I'm gonna look around here. I know that Henford here is not real big with giving us the little digging things, but you know, Never know, we might find something. Let me look and see what I could find. I cannot find anything around this area, so I think we're gonna have to go travel. Oh, and she do be making a mess. What are you doing, Colette? That's terrible. Oh, look at this. Okay, we're gonna take her and we're gonna travel somewhere else in Henford on Bagley here because I, just in this area, there really isn't any stones. So the only thing I have found so far, and I've just been looking in a couple of minutes, was this piece of dirt. So I'm gonna have her come dig that up. I don't know that that's gonna have any gems. I think you have to have the rock. So, but we'll see what we get out of there. I'm not finding anything. I'm not, I wasn't too surprised. This area, Henford just does not have that many uh, collectibles and they're really hard to find. So I think I'm going to have to travel. And yeah, we found limestone is what we have found here is a fossil. Go ahead and extract a fossil and I'm going to sell it. So, you know, there we are. It's a prehistoric fossil. There we go, we'll sell it. Okay, I'm gonna travel to Oasis Springs. It's just gonna be a lot easier. And you all might have been saying, Oasis Springs? Why is she saying that? I meant Willow Creek, y'all. The minute it came out of my mouth, I was like, that is not right, it's Willow Creek. I wanted to come to Willow Creek, not Oasis Springs. Oh my gosh because there's rocks here, Willow Creek. So I'm just gonna be digging up rocks. I am not gonna bother with any uh, logs or anything like that. And so we have found some stones and Sarah has begun her journey into the gemology skill. Use the gemology table to cut gemstones and craft jewelry or collect crystals and metals to level up and unlock more jewelry and gemstone designs. All right, so we have now the gemology. Where is it? Right here. Ooh, all right. So far, I have not had any bugs. I don't know, we might if she tries to run the store, cause that's what I heard, there's a lot of problems with trying to run your own store. But I'm just gonna have her dig up a bunch of gems and stuff. We have these right here. Hopefully we can make some good pieces. So many stones in this area, just don't mind the, the modernness, all right, okay? Uh, I do have a mod in that's supposed to take away all this modern stuff, but you know what? It doesn't work for me. It doesn't. This is what we got. It doesn't work. I could like bulldoze all of these uh, buildings probably. Maybe one day I will. And we got a ruby and that shinolite, shinolite. All right, so we have gotten that checked off. Now we need to go home and make something. It is 8.25 in the evening, so I'm gonna let her dig up this last one and then we'll head home. Okay, so we're back home. I also forgot I was gonna have Andrew hire a ranch hand. And thank you for contacting the Buckaroo Bridge Ranch Service. Okay, so your hired ranch hand will work every day from 7A to 7PM. How is this little one doing? Okay, she do need to use the bathroom and she is being very creative, but she's gonna stop. And she can go ahead and grab a serving of that and I will have her clean that mess up. Oh, Archibald. Archibald's so good. He cleaned it up for us. Oh, look at that. He's gonna grab a serving. He is actually doing really well. I don't think I assigned these beds. And yo, we have four children. I am just realizing we only have three beds, yo. Okay, that's a problem. Let me go ahead and put in another bed. Like that, and then we can have this like so, and then I will put this maybe like that. 
And then I'm gonna get another table to put in here. And we'll get another lamp over here. There we are. Now I can go ahead and assign all of these beds. There, now the kids all have their beds. I'm gonna send David. He does need a bath. I will go ahead and, oh, we need water, yo. He's gonna need some water. I think I'm just gonna have him go to bed. She's gonna ask mommy to play. I'm gonna send her up here to bed. I'm just gonna let him do whatever. She is hungry, however. You know what? I'm gonna have her come over here and grab something to eat, and then he can go up to bed. I'm just real curious. Let's see what she can do. So she can cut gemstone, select a design. Oh, okay. So I think we'll do this in the morning, unless it's gonna take some time, maybe. Requires level three. So I think these are the only two that we can do. I think we'll go for this one. Let's just try and see and select a crystal. We'll do a ruby. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And Sarah's in here with all the kids. She's talking with Colette. She is so very happy that all of the kids has come in here to stay. Okay, I'm gonna get her to stop eating and chatting with all of these kids. And she's coming out to her workshop and she is just gonna see what she can make with these here gemstones that she has found. It cost us 50 simoleons. I thought it wasn't gonna cost anything. Okay. And these two boys are just talking up a storm. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna get them. He needs to go to the bathroom. I think he is gonna go get himself some juice, but uh, no, he's not. He's gonna use that. And then he is gonna go to bed, which is this bed, I believe, yeah. Go to sleep. Archibald do need a bathroom as well. So I'll have him come use that and then he can go to bed. Because there's so many children, I did add in a bush. This came from Werewolf Pack. So I can actually have her come over here and use the bathroom. And I think she drank something because her bladder drastically went down. And I saw she had a cup or something in her hand, it looked like. Oh my gosh, this is so slow. I was not expecting this. She is this got to go all the way around. Holy smokes, it's slow. And look at little Kenrick came in here and he's like, Mommy, what you doing? Let me just get in here and get a book. I like to read. I like books. And he's making a mess. And she has leveled up. Sarah can now discuss crystal properties with other sims and can design delicate jewelry and cut emerald gemstones at the gemology table. Ooh, cool. Wow, this takes so long, y'all. She's been at this for like... She started at 11.30, I think. Oh my gosh, it's already almost two in the morning, yo. Had I known. <laughs> I know there is a mod out there you can get that it will actually make this faster as she levels up in her skill. I may have to look into getting that because this is like really slow. Okay, I think she finished it. No, it went back to the beginning, yo. Are we done? Okay, I think she finished it now. Where is it? Oh, yo, I don't see it. Open. Oh, it uh, does it automatically? No, it's not in there. Where'd it go? Oh, does it not go into your inventory? Does it just go in here? Select a design. I'm going to have her make a necklace, I think. Ooh, some of this stuff does look like it could be, be medieval. A necklace fit for the gods. Hey, we'll go ahead and put, make that. I'm not going to have her make it now. I'm just wondering, it does it not show up. We did a ruby. Oh, we have to choose a metal. I think we'll do a rare, which is either this or this. Let's do this. Now crystal. Where's the crystal that we made, yo? Or is that what we did? I am confused, I guess. What did we just cut? Did we not make a stone, yo? Sim gets over breakups faster. Sim social needs does not decay. <gasps> There's benefits? Okay, I'm not gonna have her make it. We're gonna go to bed. We'll make it in the morning. I thought she cut a gemstone that was gonna be round and flat and it doesn't show up anywhere. Okay, I'm a bit confused about that. Oh my gosh, she's going to bed. He's getting up. He's like, well, I guess I will go mop the floor and little David has gotten up. He's gonna come over here and gather this water. Since he's up so early, he can go. I think I'm gonna have him go foraging first and then I will have him go hunting. And he was gotten up. It's nice to have kids around in the house. Look at this cleaning up for us. Oh my goodness. And I don't really know too much about these kids because, you know, we haven't really 
played with them very much. We haven't had anything. So Hugh here, he is self-assured. He is high confidence, top-notch infant. He likes fitness and he likes high energy sims. Okay. Colette likes, oh, she just does not like ambitionless sims. She does not. She's a little bit erratic and has high confidence. Archibald is neat and is had a happy infant, high confidence, and he doesn't like pessimistic sims and he likes nature enthusiast. Oh, okay. Maybe he's gonna be like into herbs, collecting herbs and medicine and stuff. Ooh, I kind of see Archibald doing that. I don't know what to do with these kids. I'm just telling you, I don't, I don't know what to do with them all. Animals are all still sleeping, yo. They all are still sleeping. Maybe I'll just have him do whatever. He wants to become friends with David is what he really wants. David is taking a bath right now, so, and then he gonna need to get himself something to eat. And here comes little Kenrick is up. You didn't even sleep, yo. What? He, he didn't even sleep. And this one is gonna need a bath. You did not just make a mess, yo. You clean that right up, you. And he can come over here and grab a serving. I don't know why he didn't queue it up. And he wants to become friends with Colette, is what he wants to become friends with. I'm gonna have you and David talk a bit. Maybe here we can talk about our favorite animal. Let's just do all the friendly stories. She is not fully rested, but I am gonna have her get up and she can get herself around for the day here. And she's gonna have to make something more to eat because yo, we only got two left of those. So I am gonna have her come over here. What can we make? She can make a meat and tomato tart. I think I'm gonna have her make this meat and tomato tart. Also, you might notice that we have this stove. So Medieval Sim, Sim Taylor and Carpenter did have an update on all of their CC. So I'm gonna try it again and see if it works. And yo, this little girl do be naughty and she can clean that up. Okay, little David, the animals are all awake and I know we have a ranch hand coming, but we are gonna have him go ahead and clean all of these sheds, refill and feed. That one doesn't need cleaned, this one does. And then I'm gonna have little Hugh come out here and he can feed the sheep and clean this sheep and socialize with this sheep. And then little Archibald is gonna come out here and feed the goat and clean the goat and milk the goat. And then when David gets all done with cleaning the shed, he can clean this and feed this llama and he can socialize a bit. And she is feeling very inspired here. And hey there, I'm your ranch hand. So here we have our ranch hand is here. Where is the ranch hand, yo? I am not sure. Is he out taking care of the animals already? So I don't know where the ranch hand is. He's not in this house, but he is, you know, somewhere. Okay, I have to keep this little Kenrick. Oh, he needs to go up to bed. He interrupts her cooking, okay? He comes down to talk to her. I know you love your mama, but you know, Kenrick, you have to leave mama alone she busy oh and little colette's coming now you do need to have some food yo they all are just like i want sarah oh here's our ranch hand okay i'll let the ranch hand do that he needs to come in and get something to eat anyway yo so it does appear that this stove is working and I do think Andrew's having a bad time. Oh, he got sprayed by a skunk, it looks like. And now she can get herself something to eat and then she's gonna go work on her necklace here that she's gonna make. And Andrew has come back and oh, he got the aches and pains. He is like, I got sprayed by a skunk and oh, I got the aches and pains. Okay. So he need to go have himself a bath right quick. But before he does that, let's see. What did we get? We got some pigeons and we got a pheasant and a squirrel. All right. I'm just going to put all of this straight into here. We did get some seeds and we did get mushroom and we got some berries it looks like we got a lot of berries are those from our garden and he can come have himself a bath i'm gonna have her come over here now oh there's the gem is that the gem <gasps> oh it's excellent if charged on a crystal grid embarrassed moodlets will fade much faster sim will not have uncomfortable romantic interactions oh 
Oh, okay. So wait, is that in here? No. Can we put it in our inventory? <gasps> there it is. Oh, it just went onto the desk. I'm just curious to see how much it is. 192 simoleons. Okay, so I'm wondering now, can we use that? We'll go ahead and select our design. We're gonna do this chunky necklace and we are going to choose a metal. We're gonna do this rare. Let's go with this one and we have to select a crystal. Does it show up? Okay, so the crystal does not show up in here. So we will go ahead and pick. This is the highest one that we have is this quartz. So we'll go there. Sim gains double satisfaction points when completing once or aspirations. Oh, what else? I'm just curious. Sim gains work or school performance faster. So this is really cool. I had no idea they had buffs on them. Sim is more likely to give birth to twins or triplets. Yo, my 100 baby challenge, we need that. No, we don't. I'm just curious, okay? I am just curious what each one of these do. Sims gain creative skills faster. Sim is more likely to create masterpiece. Oh, this is so cool. A Sim's relationships with family members increase faster and angry moodlets will fade much faster. <gasps> this is so neat. Sim gains mental skills faster. There's so many benefits to all of these things. I think we're gonna do this one just because I think maybe it will be red. I'm not sure. So that makes me wonder then is these just for the crystal grid. What's a crystal grid? I'm just curious, y'all. I gotta see. Mystical moonlight crystal grid. The power of the moon is a phenomenon still shrouded in mystery to this day. Its influence on human world is undeniable. Harness this power yourself by charging your very own crafted jewelry or gemstones and experimenting with its mystical effects, but beware there could be undesirable results. <gasps> Ooh, that's cool. And it does work off of the grid. Oh, okay. That's really cool. I'm not going to get it. I don't know that they would use it. Probably not in this time. I don't know. But that's really cool. And Archibald's going to come over here and talk with David a bit and play some make-believe and thews about candy. I think what we'll do is she'll get this done, this necklace done. And if it turns out really well, I'm going to have her go over to the king and queen's castle. And she's going to gift it to the queen so that we get this checked off. No, listen. Okay, you need to come and discipline this little boy. And you're going to give a calm, ask not to make a mess. We have this literacy book. I'm going to give it to David, okay? I am going to have. David practice reading. Andrew is level 10 of that literacy skill. So I'm wondering if he starts reading, if he can help him. I thought he was supposed to be able to teach him, but maybe he needs the mentoring from the rewards store. Okay, so he's studying. Help with reading. Okay, he does have it. His literacy, oh, it's five. Sorry, not level 10, but he's level five of the literacy. So he should be able to help little David read. Okay, wait, are we helping him? Help with reading. It crosses it off so maybe it's not working correctly it cues it up but then it takes it off and she's level three already of the gemology she can now more likely to find crystals and metals when digging at rocks and can design lunar goddess jewelry and cut seed shaped gemstones at the gemology table oh did she finish she did not finish if the ranch hand has done our laundry we can go ahead and put this laundry away and i'm actually gonna have him make some food just because sarah is so busy he's gonna help out and he is gonna make some bread and then he can go ahead and make the salted meat and we'll go ahead and make this family size Ooh, this is what she has made it did turn out very red okay let's go ahead and put this in our inventory. It will help Sims get over breakups faster and their social needs will does not decay. It's worth 364 simoleons. It is excellent. Okay, we are going to go over to the castle and give this to the queen. So she has come to the queen and she's just like, hi, your highness. 
I have brought you a gift. I'm gonna actually have her talk a little bit with her. We'll discuss what's new at the market. And we're gonna offer a listening ear to her. She's like, queen, you're looking beautiful today. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give her a gift. So can we give a gift, a friendly gift of a chunky necklace? Here you go, my queen. I give you a beautiful gift, a necklace I have made just for you. She's like, yeah, wow. She's like, I love it. I love this necklace. Oh, wow. That made their friendship go up pretty fast. Oh, I did it wrong, yo. I did it so wrong. Aw, oh, dang. It didn't work. You know what? I could go ahead and manage worlds and maybe I can stick it here. Okay, so we have it here. You know what? I can gift it back, okay? She's gonna come over here and give it back to her. <laughs> We're gonna redo this. Look at, she does wanna chat with Andrew. Oh, and she wants to make an enemy. I hope she doesn't wanna make en Andrew an enemy. She's like, oh, it's the necklace I got. Didn't you like? Okay, now I can, as soon as she gets done gifting it, okay, we can go ahead and save and manage worlds again. Okay, it's always interesting when you come back to your Sims or in different locations. So we're gonna come back down to here and we have to do it from our inventory. So we can go ahead and gift to Elizabeth. All right, there we go. That's kind of silly that you have to do it that way, but we're gonna do it. Here, my queen, I have for you a beautiful present. It's a necklace. Oh. There, we got it now. Oh, we do have to buy the crystal grid, I see. And we have to wear a fully charged jewelry piece. Crafted jewelry can be charged by putting it on a crystal grid placed outside between 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. When the tooltip shows the jewelry is fully charged with a magical glow where it to unleash its powers. Okay. And we have to plant a crystal seed. So, oh, I wasn't expecting to do all this, but there we go. All right, well, we're gonna head back home. What? The king stopped her, I think, and is talking to her. Don't mind this mailbox. I gotta fix that. I don't know why that's there. Here she is just talking to the king. He's like, the jewelry, the necklace you made for my wife was beautiful. And she's like, well, thank you. Okay. Maybe they're, he's quite happy with her jewelry. Maybe this is the start of making jewelry for nobles and kings and queens. Ooh. We're going to head home though now. All right. So we are back. And I do think I am going to go ahead and end this episode here. So it is now Sunday. It's going towards evening. It is the second quarter of 1375. She is going to be aging up in three days. So we'll probably do that in the next episode. I don't know. We'll have to just see. And now Sarah has started her journey down towards being a jeweler. So so I'm gonna continue doing these things. I do really like this this pack, this stuff pack. It, I haven't encountered any bugs yet, but I've only made one necklace. You know, I haven't made very much. So we'll continue doing some of this. We need to make a bunch of jewelry pieces and see if we can't sell them. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, it would be amazing if you did. And also don't forget to click the little bell to get notified whenever I have a video go up. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.